apologies for the wait. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Young, new, old, and seasoned. This is my Twitch channel, Rio Dragoon. Uh, I am rebooting it after some time away from Twitch. Um, starting up a new job lately, so I'm still trying to get the schedules down and everything. But what I wanted to do was um, reboot the channel in a way where it's dealing with a lot of classic RPGs and um, immersive sims, generally speaking, is uh, the idea for the channel. Um, stealth games, I think, could also be something to look into later so maybe sometime i might do something like metal gear but for now i'm focusing on uh classic rpgs and one of the things i wanted to do was when i start streaming a new game i'm going to do a thing called a session zero and let me make a little thing for that here where i can put up like a number for a little reference thing. Add text or something in the social elements. Oops, there we go. Add a new source. Session number. And the idea behind a session zero is I'm going to be covering um, the basics of what we need to know about the game before we start playing. So that way we're informed how it's supposed to be played, a little bit maybe of the history of the game. Let me tweak my mic up just a little bit. Yep, 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 yep. If you give it gain, there we go. Can you hear me okay? So session zero is an idea that I had where um, I maybe read the manual of a classic game, uh, go through the ins and outs of uh, getting started with it. So that way we're all well informed how the game is played, what it's all about. Clear up a lot of questions for uh, how to get started with the game if uh, somebody decides to dive in after they see the streams and stuff. Just kind of a very informative little thing. Kind of like a session zero for a uh, Dungeons and Dragons campaign, that sort of thing, where like, you're setting the expectations, you're... Um, spitballing ideas for how to get the campaign started and so on so um for this session zero i'm going to be reading through the uh manual that has been provided on gog for um a calabeth world of doom now this is art that's been made after the fact because um let me see when was the original Let's go to Moby Games, maybe, for this. In fact, we might just start with reading off the uh, Moby Games entry for a Caladeth World of Doom. All right, so, oh, never mind. It was released in 1980. It was originally released in 1980 on the Apple II it's had iPhone, Linux, ports, Windows, Macintosh. Now, this was one of the first commercially sold uh, computer role-playing games ever. Um, the developer was a guy named uh, Richard Garriott, also known as Lord British, who also uh, tends to insert himself in his games very often as a character, a king that you deal with on a regular basis. Um, this was the first game that he sold that he uh, programmed and made himself. 
And from what I remember, he originally did the art himself, printed out the art himself, put it in little baggies, and sold it out of the uh, computer store that he worked at. So this is kind of like the beginnings of uh, retail PC gaming, basically. And the description of the game is, uh, Once the land of Akalabeth was peaceful and quiet, but then came Mondane, an evil and ambitious man who created dungeons and populated them with foul creatures. The noble warrior British was able to... The noble warrior British was able to drive Mondane from Akalabeth but the monsters he brought with him remain. As either a fighter or a mage, it is your job to explore a calabeth, descend into the dungeons, and vanquish the beasts dwelling within. On an overhead map of the land, one can find dungeons and towns where one may buy many supplies, weapons, and armor, and a castle where one will be given quests by Lord British. To fulfill such a quest, a certain type of creature must be destroyed in a dungeon. Inside the dungeons, the view switches to a first-person perspective. Fight, explore, and find treasure on the way to complete a quest. Each successive quest will require you to destroy a stronger monster, which will reside on a deeper dungeon level than the one before it. A Calabeth is the precursor to the Ultima series, which, uh, after we beat a Calabeth, I will be moving on to the Ultimas. So, uh... We'll pretty much be considering it like one continuous series, even though a lot of this stuff for a Calabeth has kind of been retconned later from Ultima into it. But uh, yeah, like the stuff about Mondane, I think that's not mentioned at all in the game. Um, Mondane is actually uh, the villain from one of the first Ultimas. All right, so... Now we've had a look at the Moby Games profile. Let's read the manual. Um, a Calabeth World of Doom. Beware, foolish mortal. You trespass in a Calabeth World of Doom. The Annals of a Calabeth. Tis said that long ago, peace and tranquility covered the lands. Food and drink flowed freely. Man and beast lived in peace. Gold and silver abounded. It was the golden age of a Calabeth. Mondane, second born of Wolfgang, a great king of old, wished to gain his brother's inheritance, and so he used his great powers for evil. Many years ago had Monda many years had Mondane travel tra blah, 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 blah. getting tongue tied. Many years had Mondane traversed the lands of a Calabeth, spreading evil and death as he passed. He created deep dungeons, so deep and extensive that their lower depths had never been explored. In these dungeons, he unleashed more evil. He sent thieves, skeletons, and snakes to dwell near the surface, and demons and balrogs to guard the depths. Now blood flowed freely in a calabeth, and foul creatures soon came to roam near the surface. Mondane cast such sickness and pestilence upon a calabeth, that both man and beast lived in constant fear. Thus was the dark age of Akalabeth. There arose from the land a man, pure and just, to battle the Dark Lord. British, champion of white light, did battle with Mondane deep within the labyrinth of dungeons, eventually driving him from Akalabeth forever. British of the white light was proclaimed Lord British, protector of Akalabeth. Alas, much damage had been suffered unto the lands. The revival of Akalabeth had begun. Tis thy duty to rid Akalabeth from the foul creatures which infest it, whilst trying to stay alive. Alright, first walk through Akalabeth. Note, the following information is presented in the same order as it is needed in the game. Therefore, they can be used simultaneously with, first time, with the first time one plays the game. Note, Lord British. The lucky number. This is a seed for the random number generator. Each time you use the same number, the game setup is the same as the first time. I.e. same map, same dungeons, same player, and same monsters. Level of play. This number is directly related to the monster strength. I.e. level of play 10 creates monsters that are 10 times harder 
to destroy as the level of play one. So I guess uh, that's kind of forward thinking. It's kind of a uh, essentially new game plus option. So the idea is that you would play through uh, the game up to 10 times to experience uh, everything there is to have in the game. I dig that. Especially as a uh, Dark Souls fan, Dark Souls 2 did a lot to uh, change New Game Plus playthroughs of that. So, always interested in seeing cool uh, features like that. The player. Hit points. The amount of damage a player can absorb before death. This number decreases each time thou art struck by a monster. Hit points are gained upon leaving a dungeon based on the types and levels of the creatures slain therein. Strength. Related to the damage thou art capable of inflicting upon thy foes. Dexterity. Used in the form formulation of thy hit probability. Okay, so kind of like uh, Dungeons and Dragons, where it's like... Uh, Dexterity helps with your two hit. Strength is uh, your physical melee damage, basically. Or I guess strength, as we read along, we might find that strength also uh, affects spells. If there's any uh, magic in this game. Stamina determines the defensive posture after sustained combat. Wisdom. This attribute is used in special quest routines. Gold! Money! Assets! Okay, there's no mention of magic in this game, so maybe uh, you just play as a knight. We'll have to keep that in mind. So we need to make sure... I guess when we roll up our character, we need to try and make sure that all of those numbers are as high as possible. Um... With the exception of maybe gold, because maybe we can just earn that along the way. The player type. An adventurer may choose to be a fighter or a magi. Oh, okay, so there is, there are mages. Either option has both advantages and disadvantages. The disadvantage of a fighter is the lack of ability to control the magic amulet. The magi cannot use rapiers or bows. Okay. The Adventure Shop. At the beginning of the game, and in every town, a player has the opportunity to purchase food and weapons. To buy any item, thou need only type the first letter, letter of the item wanted. The cost of the item is displayed while in the town. Be sure to buy enough food so as to not starve to death. The game is started in a town somewhere on the 2020 map. Okay. Map legend and definitions. This kind of five square logo is the towns. The adventure shops in the towns have buying equipment. The castle is with the X square inside of a larger square. To win the game, it is necessary to visit the castle. From this point, one may embark on a quest by which the game is won. Just normal squares, trees, they serve as landmarks, mountains, little cracky terrain, non-passable obstacles. The 2020 map is bordered with mountains. Dungeons, where evil things lurk. Okay. And then we've got the controls here. So we've got uh, return, which I guess would be enter. Move north or forward. I'm hoping these are actually like uh, tweaked in DOSBox. I think they are where I can just use the arrow keys. Uh, let's see. S for statistics. A for attack. Spacebar to pass. X. The X key has a number of applications. It is used when the player wishes to climb ladders, enter towns, enter the castle, and climb through trap doors. P is pause on and off. To pause on, the computer stops after each conflict, conflict sequence, allowing the player to...
to read the display before going on. However, this slows games execution to some extent. Beginners, as well as those under simultaneous attack, may wish to use the pause function. Okay. Thou doest know the basics of the game. Experiment with the commands. There is much left unsaid for thee to discover in the future. Go forth unto a calabeth and seek adventure where thou wilt. Okay. So that covers that. Let's get the game started and uh, advance on to session one. move things around again it starts off in full screen mode so I've got to like kind of tweak it so that it's not doing that Send that capture. capture go away all right there we go and then I'll change the um, session number to session one that should also like help me keep track of clips and stuff all right type thy lucky number all right Most people consider seven the lucky number, so let's go with that. Level of play, one, since we're starting out. And let's roll up some good numbers, okay? Hoping for all 20s. low dang it we'll probably really want high stamina if we're gonna be a knight which is what I'm going for oh there we go okay cool so 20s in all stats, 17 gold. I think I can live with this. Shit. Fuck. Apparently enter isn't the start button. So now we gotta find the 20s again. Come on, give me 20s. Wisdom 17, gold 23, I can live with that. Shalt thou be a fighter or a mage? It's F for fighter. All right. Let's buy some food. Eighty food maybe would be good. Okay, let's see. Eighty 
be axe and shield. There we go. Okay. Quit the shop. Bye. Here we go. All right. So I guess we need to find a castle for a mission. Mountain, mountains. Yo, where to castle at? What? Did I die? I died. God damn it. Probably should have been paying attention to the uh, food levels because that was probably what it was. If anybody's hanging out in chat, feel free to talk to me while I'm streaming because I'm one of those people. I like to play off of the chat and talk to the chat on a regular basis. I have the chat box right there beside the game. So if anybody wants to say anything during uh, the stream, feel free. I am definitely going to chat with you guys as I go along. Okay, this looks good enough for me. Strength of 18. Everything else is in the 20s including the gold, so let's go with that. Fighter. Okay, so I just want to keep an eye on my food. As I'm traveling, start with 80 again. Um, the axe and shield again as well this time let's not fuck it up okay let's see huh what's the button for status So every step you take, you're using up food. That's interesting. Does that mean I should go into dungeons just to get money? Even if I can't get a quest? God damn it. Found a dungeon. My food is already down to 37.9, which sucks.
Four pieces of eight and a food. Good. Okay, that's nice. Falling to level two. No. I'm being attacked by an orc. There he is. Okay. Attack. Which weapon? Axe. To throw or swing. Throw. Okay, cool. Um, unfortunately, I think I threw my axe away. Which is lovely. Uh, let me just climb back up. I need to get back to the surface. All right. Find the town again before I die. Some lack of food. There we go. Okay, cool. Need more food. Give me food. Until I can only afford an X. Because I did a stupid and I threw my axe when I attacked that freaking orc. that trap It's a skeleton. X. Swing. Attack. X. Swing. Received two pieces of eight. Okay, cool. Getting up in the world. Four pieces of eight and a bow and arrows. I'm getting so lost. Fuck. Fucking.
Why is everything a dead end? Jesus Christ. I don't like that dungeon. We should find another one somewhere. Oh, here's one. Actually, before we do that, make sure we get more food. Yeah, 90 food, moving up in the world. All right. Let's enter this one. Yay, skelly boy. All right, axe, swing. Ooh, killed it already for two pieces of eight. Dang it. It's a mage or a thief. I don't know what the graphics are specifically for all these creatures. I know skeletons look like skeletons. Okay, it says thief up top. Never mind. Swing. Dang. Must be getting pretty strong. Killing enemies in one shot now. Three pieces of eight and a bow and arrows. down yeah sure let's climb down Oh, skeleton. Swing it. Yeah. Usually going the right way if you run into enemies, right? Although I think this game is mostly procedurally generated, so... Being attacked by an orc? Oh. Hello. Hey, six pieces of eight. I explored most of that dungeon doing that um, let's check back in see what we can do um, get some more food yeah 100 should do us for a while this other one
feel like I'm going around in circles already. Four pieces of eight and a shield. Cool. Two pieces of eight and a magic amulet and a way down. Interesting. Curious about the lack of enemies in this dungeon. Seems to just be a place for loot. down if I find that ladder up again I'm probably taking it this ladder down Yeah, that dungeon didn't really have a lot besides a bunch of items, which items are nice, but kind of want kind of want to make progress in this game in some sort of way. Speaking of which, I need to figure out where the castle is on this seed. attention to the food levels making sure I don't die get up another town get some more food because it's getting low Yo, where the castle's at? There it is. Welcome, peasant, into the halls of the mighty Lord British, wherein thou mayst choose to dare battle with the evil creatures of the depths for great reward. What is thy name, peasant? Rio. Dost thou wish for grand adventurer? Venture? Good. Thou shalt try to become a knight. Thy first task is to go into the dungeons and to return only after killing a mimic. Go now upon this quest, and may Lady Luck be fair upon you. Also I, British, have increased each of thy attributes by one. Into the dungeons to fight a mimic, then. Uh, where's the closest dungeon to here? There it is. Uh, might want to head back to a town, though. God damn it. 
Out of the way, mountains. Okay. Town. I'm gonna stock up on food. Why not? Let's go broke on food. I think there are enemies in this game that steal food. Five pieces of eight and a food. Good. Oh, five pieces of eight and a shield. What is this? Five pieces of eight and an axe. Five pieces of eight and a rapier. Interesting. I think rapiers do more damage than an axe, so next time I can fight using a rapier, I guess. Five pieces of eight and a magic amulet. This dungeon is giving me lots of shit. Two pieces of eight and another rapier. Okay. Um. Two pieces of eight and a magic amulet. Let's go down. Hello, thief. Attack using rapier. Heck yeah. Attack using rapier. Attack using rapier. Attack using rapier. There we go. I was wondering where the enemies were. I was almost thinking this whole dungeon was going to just be uh, treasure chests filled with loot. And maybe eventually one of them would be a mimic. Further down. Let me check out stuff first. Seven pieces of eight and a bow and arrows. Nice. Five pieces of eight and a magic amulet. We are getting flush with gold right now. Just need to make sure our food is kept up and we escape. Wow, it's just doors on all sides. Okay, that's not gonna be confusing. Hello. Attack, rapier. Attack, rapier. There we go. Let's go in that way. Ten pieces of eight and an axe. Ten pieces of eight and a food. This dungeon doesn't want us to leave. It just wants to give us things. Piece of eight and then a rapier. Are you a mimic? Can you please be a mimic? No. Five pieces of eight and an axe. Four pieces of eight and an axe. I feel like an asshole because I'm calling this dun. Oh, okay. 
I'm basically calling this dungeon a gift horse. I'm looking it in the mouth. All the shit that it's giving me. Oh. Floor four. You're being attacked by a carrion crawler. Okay. shit did I die I just died god damn it fuck <laughs> damn we'll invoke the miracle of resurrection hit the escape key ah oh, dang it it just brings me back to the beginning again So not to sell. Carrion crawlers? Don't fuck with them. This is kind of a very quiet game, what with no audio and shit. Let me see if maybe I can uh, put some of this Persona music on lowly in the background. That should make it a little better. We want all 20s. Give us 20s. I don't want a dexterity of 15 because I think we had a 20 something in dexterity last time and I was still missing a lot. Except strength. I don't think that would go well, though. Okay. Wisdom being 17, I think we can deal with. Don't know how much 
much the shield does, but I think I'd be better off going ahead and getting it. Let's try to go ahead and find the castle. There's the fucking castle, Jesus. Yes. Kill a viper. Okay. Give us a gold. God damn it! <coughs> Can't to a town to get food. No, I'm dead. Alright. Try it again. It's pretty much a roguelike at this point. There's so many random factors to it. generates the world and shit. Oh, yeah. 20s, 20s, 20s all the way down. Yes. Okay. Fighter. Alright. Rapier. Shield. All the food we can afford. Quit. I guess if I can't find the castle immediately, I'll just try and find dungeon and uh, farm some gold first, I guess. Just going left and right until I can find a dungeon. Okay, that's not working. And down till I can find it. Up. There's one. Aha! A skeleton! Right here. Yeah. some money Ooh. five pieces of eight and a magic amulet I feel like the dungeons don't always make sense as to, like, where I came from and where I'm going. Trap to level two. Ten pieces of eight for food. Aha! That's what you get, skeleton. Right, there's a way up. Take it and find another way up. A piece of eight and an X. Nice. Skeleton. Hello, trapdoor. I think you're the one I fell through earlier. 
Or he could just be another one that we found. So that's the ladder down. Can I find a ladder up? Because I'm kind of running out of food here. Oh, there's a food. Okay, that's nice. appreciate that it goes into decimals when you're in a dungeon. But I need to find a ladder up. I'm gonna die again. Yep, died again. God damn it. We need a good string of luck. Hit points 19. Okay, maybe I could go with that. We need a good string of luck where I don't die, I don't run out of food. And I can just keep accumulating money. see if I can do without a shield this run just so that I can afford more food to start with. Fuck. Surrounded by mountains. There's a dungeon. I find a nearby town. There's another dungeon. Can I find a nearby town? Okay. This map generation is awful. Town, town, town. Right there. There's a dungeon. Pieces of eight and a shield. Nice. Free shield. Two pieces of eight and a bow and arrows. Ladder down. I kind of want a ladder up so I can restock on food though. food back into the fray oh hi hi I see chest three pieces of eight and a magic amulet
Weird how there's a trap to drop you to level 2. Right next to a ladder to level 2. But who am I to complain? I was thinking about taking that ladder to level 2 anyway. Game just made the decision for me. So much food. Trap, all up two. Okay. Hi, Skelly Boy. What? Trap to level three. Note to self, if you run into a carrion crawler, do not attack it. Is that a viper? Wait, that was on a different, uh, God. That was on a different character that I had to kill a viper. So if this doesn't work out. Oof. Yeah, and then we've got enemy chasing. Oh, shit. Got cornered by enemies. <sighs> okay, I have a feeling that this is not a game that I'm going to actually want to complete. And I might just want to skip to Ultima next time I stream. But I'll try to give it a good attempt today during this stream. Mm, I don't want to deal with only eight gold. One thing I am not going to move on. I am not going to start with low gold. Because low gold means low food, and low food means you are going to immediately die. Already, 
Wait. How do I not have a rapier? Something steal my rapier? He must have stolen my rapier while I was fighting the freaking rat. Asshole. Pieces of eight and a bow and arrows. Hi, thief. You stole a bow and arrow, you ass. You stole a food, you ass. You stole an axe. Freaking items, really, dude? You ass. Let's go back up. Find our way back up. This, apparently. Got a magic amulet. the skeleton. There we go. Let's go up. Jesus. Alright, so apparently we're gonna have to keep a shit ton of fucking items on our fucking person. There's thieves all over the frickin' place. Who won't let us go. Let's see, if we can find the castle already. Then we might have a good run. If we can find the castle already, we might have a good run. Where are you? Castle? Hello? Where do you exist? I'm about to have to do another dungeon delve just so I get freaking gold. Because I can't find the freaking castle. Save my life. Yep, dungeon bell. Okay. these dungeons are very generous with items. There we go. Find 
our way back up. Yeah! Can I find a town for food or the castle? The castle would be great because then I could go ahead and know what I need to do to advance the game. Skelton. Items! Sweet. thief I need to try and find a way back out again Making some good money this run. We still need to find the freaking castle, wherever it is, on this map. town going further up north got a dungeon right there past the mountain this might be a good setup yes I wish for grand adventure kill a gremlin doesn't sound too bad
Okay. Need plenty of food. From what I remember, gremlins steal food. And I think we're all set. Now we just need to find a gremlin to kill. if we can find a gremlin soon and murder it. Trap. Level two. Hello, Skeleton. Being attacked by a thief! Thief stole a food. Thief stole a bow and arrow. Yeah. Skeleton. So you gain health depending on how many things you kill while you're in the dungeon. So it seems to me a good idea is to try and keep killing things close to the ladder as much as possible. The ladder up and out, I mean. Hey, more items. More items. So many magic amulets. And I'm a fighter, so I'm probably not going to use it at all.
down. so I didn't gain any hit points. Dungeon layout seems to change every time you go in, though. Hello. Freaking rat. Being attacked by a thief. Stop attacking me, thief. It's dead. Already killed a few things, so find a way up and out. See how many hit points we get back. Skeleton. I'm stuck here. Activate Max. Feeling like I, I'm getting areas that just circle around over and over again. Yes. Hello, sir. Yeah, it seems every time I go up or down a floor, it regenerates that floor. Which is 
interesting. Should be all set for fighting a gremlin whenever we find one. Look at all that. We got like eight rapiers, four axes, four shields, three bows and arrow sets, nine magic amulets. Jesus. Back into the dungeon. Could this be the run? giant rat or trap okay cool let's go back up since we got forced down by a trap I don't want to be four, three floors deep in a dungeon before we even do one of Lord British's quests Hey, you know the way? I know the way. Way to the ladder, anyway. All right, yeah. Woo, 13 hit points gained. Okay, we're getting even better. in there so it regenerates the dungeon items yeah this is such a nice little simple dungeon crawler I'm actually kind of enjoying it a lot It's really simple, but it came out in like 1980, so you kind of got to give it some slack. And if you really think about it, it's a game where a lot of the content is procedurally generated. So if you just want something a little simple to just sit down and play for a long amount of time, just like kill a bunch of time, this is fine. Again, very primitive, but I mean, like, this was the times. And if you have enough awareness to, like, learn the systems, it's kind of enjoyable. Right down to the dungeon. Do 
gain some hit points for killing stuff. Like, yeah, once you notice that, like, pretty much everything, whenever you change floors, randomly generates. It helps you kind of like find a groove. It's like it all revolves around finding these ladders. Plenty of food, so we shouldn't run out of food. We just need to be careful about running into any enemies we haven't encountered yet. Because they could be a lot more difficult to deal with. on floor four, I think. Is he retreating? Okay. Twenty-one pieces of eight and a magic amulet. Deeper. Is that a viper? Please tell me there's no poison system in this game. Just let it deal damage. Trying to run. Oh. Gremlin. Kill it. God damn it. killed a gremlin but look how much food it fucking took i'm down to seven pounds viper really And now I've got like three hit points. I'm gonna die again. <sighs> All the enemies are just fucking stacking behind each other. A rat, a viper, I'm gonna die again. Okay.
How long have we been streaming? Two hours? Okay. Note to self. Buy all the food you can afford at any given fucking time. We're learning this more and more. We're getting better. Give me 20s. Give me 20s across the board. Music playing in the background, by the way, is uh, Persona soundtracks. So if any of the music sounds interesting that I'm playing in the background, uh, that's from the Persona series, so check those out. I've noticed a lot of other uh, YouTubers and streamers use Persona music a lot, so I'm guessing it's pretty fine as far as like uh, music you can use for content creation fighter all right so a rapier or two everything else is food Hey, castle right there. Is there a dungeon nearby? Okay, right there. Is that really the closest dungeon we can get? Looks like it. God damn it. All right. go down. I want to go back up. Invest in all the food. Let me check. God damn it. Where's the castle again? There it is. Okay. Go ahead and get my quest from the king. Yes. Carrion crawler already? Dude. already. Ah! The castle and shit are such a weird distance. 
from the dungeons. Town, at least. ourselves set up nicely again on the food. Skelton. 
Thief. Oh man. I am gonna gain so much health from going out of the dungeon and killing all this shit. There it is. There's the ladder. Okay, now we're on the first floor of the dungeon. So if we find another ladder up, it should be the way out, too. Hey! 25 hit points! Fuck yeah! That's all there is to this floor? Shut up, thief. Shut up, thief. Giant rat, where'd you come from? The walls? It's the walls. Viper. Excuse me, where's the thief? You die. You also die. Freaking walls, literally. many chests. Forty-one hit points. Oh my god. Eighty-nine HP total. Jesus. We're getting to be pretty beefy. Pretty beefy boys.
Oh yeah. go down. Bunch of illusory walls! All over this place. There we go. Level one. <coughs> really? Back to two? Assholes. Orc? Hello, orc. God damn, Persona 4's soundtrack is so good. That's making me want to play some Persona 4 again. But I've gotta bide my time! I'm playing through a bunch of classic games here. On stream. Eventually I'm gonna do the Shin Megami Tenseis. And the Personas. Right now, I'm doing a Calabeth and the Ultimas. Unless people really, really want me to, like, go ahead and skip the order of the stuff that I plan on playing. I can be convinced. getting knocked down to the second floor. There we go. Yeah! Nice 105 hit points. That's good. Let's lock in some more money and food. Because fucking gremlins will take half of all your food with every hit, it looked like. So you kind of gotta go ridiculous on the food.
just in case you run into them. Really? Getting trapped to level two. more hit points. Skeleton. Skeleton. The lack of sound in this game is sometimes pretty unnerving. Is there actually supposed to be sound to this game? Do I just have the sound cranked down for this game? What's the mixer say? 
No. DOS box has sound. Try to find a carrion crawler, then find our way back up. Or if I find ladders up, I'll go ahead and take them. Kind of accumulating a lot of gold here. Make for a great opportunity to get more food. There we go. Viper. Hi. Oh, he gave up on me. Viper! Get out of my way. Up. Little orc. White giant rat. Come on. Okay. The fuck. Twitch. Have you been fucking with shit again, Twitch? People promoting their fucking services in the middle of my chat. Sorry. Bye. Usually scams anyway.
gained 70 hit points. Nice. All right. Lock some more food away. That character is literally just carrying around like an entire supermarket's worth of food right now. Trap to level three, no! Alright. Come on, Viper. Bye, Viper. Bye, Skelton. Hmm. Ladder up. Alright. And another ladder up. 23 hit points. We are now at 185 HP. That's cool. Invest in all that food. Still not feeling quite brave enough to intentionally dive as deep as possible. Because who knows when we'll run into freaking gremlins.
carrion crawlers or balrogs and shit. At least if we kill a carrion crawler. We'll get an advancement from uh, Lord British. So I am kind of on the lookout for ladders down. I think around floor three. You start getting carrion crawlers. where we were when we ran into a carrion crawler on one of our other runs. Okay, we're getting confused around here, so uh, reloading the floors. Thief stole the magic amulet. the way down. I'm taking it. Being attacked by an orc. Load floors. Viper. Die, sir. You too. so much we might make some good uh, HP recovery once we resurface. Come on. We can find more ladders up. So much information. 
I do not like the uh, Persona 4 Golden theme as much as this one. Sorry, this one's too good. Of the world, we are traveling a maze of relationships. What goes on with or without you? I swim in the sea of the unconscious, I search for your heart, pursuing my true self. Need some ladders up. So we can get some HP recovery. Gained 131 hit points. 288. Yes, please. More food. There we go. Gremlins ain't gonna get nothing on us. Level three. I feel like maybe I could take a carrion crawler if we run into one. Maybe. Hey! Carrion crawler. Killed the carrion crawler? Yes! Okay. I would just need to find our way back up. 
Stop to Lord British. Carrion crawler and a chest. Jokes on you, Lord British. We killed two carrion crawlers. We just need to find a way back up. I said back up. Regenerate the floors. Best trick I can think of to get this to work. Sorry about that. My sister was giving me an update on something regarding her work situation. leaving me alone. I'm just trying to get back to the top. Stop it.
Dear God. How many enemies are going to stack up? Okay. Five? Level five? Really? Fuck you. Reset the floors. This floor is apparently untraversable, so I gotta reset it again. Jesus Christ, y'all! Carrion crawler, shut the fuck up. Die. I'm just trying to get back to the surface. Thank you. So I can get my HP healed. Thief, fuck you. Surface. Towards the surface, please. Yes. Orc. find ladder up skeleton ladder up yes 468 gained hit points oh my god so good Go now and complete thy quest. I did. 
I did, didn't I? I killed so many fucking carrion crawlers, dude. Hang on. Let me Google something. When I do it in return, he just says, go now, complete thy quest. of a Calabeth is bugged. When you complete the quest and go back to the king, he doesn't recognize that you completed the quest. And he just keeps saying to go and complete the quest. Supposedly, there's a way to replace the executable with one that works. I'm trying to see if I can actually find that so I can fix it. Nope, that site can't be reached. Well, shit. Okay, so the GOG version is bugged. And I would probably have to just, like, install the game in an entirely different way in order to fix it. I guess I'll call this stream done and look into ways to fix this before the next uh, stream. Session two. So, uh, guess that's it. I'll go and, uh, post somebody, I guess. See y'all later. Um, I'll give updates later on my Discord. Whenever, um,. I have a new schedule up and all that stuff, and I always post my go live announcements there as well. There's also my Twitter. Where I also uh, post my announcements and stuff. So... This still ended up being a decent stream, about three hours, so. I don't consider it a complete loss. I I'm actually kind of enjoying this game. I just wish it was working properly, which I guess I'll have to look into. So, see y'all next time.
Again, I will post up my announcements on Twitter and Discord whenever I go live next. Um, session 0 and Session 1, I'm going to upload this uh, VOD onto YouTube. If you want to check out my YouTube, that's also where I'm going to keep archives of this stuff. And y'all have a great day and have an amazing weekend going forward, okay? Bye.